this time on the title, we are going to be reviewing Miss Ariana Grande's R.E.M. Beauty. I already have a swatch in my hand because I just started filming this video and I was like, the lighting is Buddha, so I moved locations and now we are ready to get into this review, okay? So today I am going to be review reviewing the R.E.M. Beauty. This is their eyeshadow palette in uh this is so this is the midnight shadows eyeshadow palette in baby doll i have the apple borderline eyeliner marker in midnight black i also have the apple borderline cool eyeliner pencil in so mod which is the reason why i think my um package was so late but okay and then i have the midnight shadows liquid eyeshadow milky way which is this on my hand which is really pretty but we'll get into it i have the infamous interstellar highlighter topper and miss mercury so excited for this one i also have the on your collar matte lipstick and drive-in movie i also have the on your collar plumping lip gloss and vcr i also have the most important lip plumping gloss and lastly, I have the Florisian, oh girl, Flourishing Lengthening Mascara. Oh my god, I forgot that they came out with the mascara. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, so if you guys want to see my thoughts on Rem Beauty, then please keep watching. I'm an Ariana Grande, Ariana Grande stan, okay? I had to get my hands on these products right away. Um, with that being said, I definitely respect my money, so nothing is persuaded or, or anything just because I like an artist. Do I want to like it? Yes. But does that mean I'm going to like it? No. So I already have my base on. So we're just going to get right into it. So I'm going to start with the Baby Doll eyeshadow palette. But this is so pretty, guys. Like I said, I was just filming um, and I had to change locations. But this packaging is so pretty. It is a bit weighted, nothing too heavy, but it has some nice weight to it. It also has a really pretty um, mirror as well as the shades the shades don't have shade names but i think it's so small that it's okay it doesn't need to there's six shades in here i'm gonna go ahead and swatch those shades so this is the palest shade right here this is the second shade this is a metallic that is very creamy that felt super duper creamy third shade can you see the gradients this is the other metallic. Oh my God, like these are so creamy. This is the fourth shade and the fifth shade. So these are the colors, they're not the best swatches, but this also includes the Midnight, um, the eyeshadow on Milky Way. So I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe my fingers and then we'll get started into this eyeshadow look. Like I said, this is the palette that I have. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with that middle shade on my lid all over in the crease as well. Super pretty shade. These shades are pigmented, but they do have a lot of kickback. Um, I'll kind of show you. And it really sits in the pan. Do I mind it or do I normally care for it? No, but um, I really don't like how it sits in the pan like that, honestly. <sighs> Um, as long as an eyeshadow performs, I normally don't care, which so far this is doing for me, but I normally, I don't know, this one is just a little bit excessive, honestly. I'm going to take the second to last shade, and I'm going to add that to the outer and then blend into the inner corner as well. And then I'm going to take the last shade, and that's just going to go right on my outer corner pretty i could see myself using this like every single day because of just the tones but see look this is the kickback it's just a little annoying honestly because like i don't want to be getting ready and then have like a whole bunch of eyeshadow on me but sometimes pigmented eyeshadows do have kickback so I mean, that's so funny. She literally just tweeted. Okay, I'm going to take some concealer. <sighs> I don't know how I want to incorporate this. Uh, uh, this is such an odd applicator. This is my first time using this. What the hell? I'm going to cut my crease 
Okay. And then I'm gonna take a really flat brush and I'm taking a foundation brush, okay? And I'm gonna just blend that and make sure that the crease is pretty cut. I'm doing a half cut crease, okay? See, it's nice and blended. So I like how the shadow is performing so far, even with like, you know, concealer and everything. It's looking good so far. Pretty. I'm gonna go back into the palette and I'm gonna go into that first very pale shade. It's kind of like a pale pinkyish. And I'm gonna apply that to where I applied my concealer. I actually really like that this has a pink tint to it because I feel like it makes me look like I have some like pink eyeshadow on even though I'm doing something very nude. Like it's really pretty. I don't know. Like look how good that looks. I think that looks phenomenal, honestly. This shadow palette is performing very well so far. Oh wow. This is pretty. I'm really gonna end up using this every single day. This is so pretty. Like, look at that shade. It's so nice and matte. That's gorgeous. This is such a pretty everyday palette. Wow. Okay. And they blend out so easily. And I don't think I'm going to try out the shimmers today, but as you saw, they're super creamy. I wish you guys could feel them. If you guys have it, you guys should know what I'm talking about. And at least in my opinion, the metallic shades, the shimmer shades are so Oh, I want to use this, but I feel like it's too dark for my look today. So I'm going to put that off for now. So next, what I'm going to get into is going to be the um, At The Borderline Eyeliner Marker in Midnight Black. Scared for this. The only um, eyeliner marker that I really like right now that I just started using too is the NARS uh, Climax one. So freaking good in black so this is really what i'm comparing this to this is the packaging i think it's cute it's simple it's very slick um it's the type of material that if makeup were to get on it it comes right off um and it's also like matte which i think is cute so this is the tip it actually really does remind me of the um nars one i'll show you that i've been using the nars one is just a bit thicker but we'll see how this performs so I'm going to use that little mirror and we're going to go ahead and get working. Super pretty so far, gives you such a nice point. You barely have to do anything with it, it just glides on super nicely. Yeah, I like that. This is a very good beginner uh, liquid liner pen. For anyone who wants to get into liquid liner, this is a really good pen. It almost just creates the wing for you with the shape, which I feel like pens should do. So I really like that. It doesn't skip when you go over because some eyeliners can like start to create like a patch as you continue to go over. It doesn't do that. It just gets blacker and blacker and I flip and love it. Wow. Wow. This is what the eyes are looking like so far. Tell me what you guys think down below so far. I really, really love it. This is such an everyday like makeup line or such an everyday launch. I really, really, really like it. Okay, so next we're gonna go into the Kohl eyeliners, which I'm so excited about, which is why I think my package took so long because of this, but um, it is worth the wait, I think. So this is the Kohl eyeliner in So Mod, which is gorgeous, so Looks like, oh, they're twisty. So they're not sharpenable, they twist. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Do I care? No. Is it gonna be less product? Possibly, but that is this. They twist up, so they're not sharpenable, they twist. And we're gonna go ahead and apply that to our waterline. Okay, 
pretty. Um, I think it looks really subtle on me right now because I had just taken off some mascara. Um, but I think it looks perfect for this eyeshadow look. So I'll definitely be trying this out more, but I don't mind it. It doesn't tug on the eyes. It's very creamy and very smooth. So I like that so far, I think. Next, we're going to go into the mascara. The mascara. This is the volumizing mascara. I'm super nervous. This is what it looks like. Very, like, luxe. It's very, like, heavy weight. And I like it. Like I said, I love that. Like I said, I love that I'll be able to look in my makeup bag and be like, oh, that's REM. I love that. I think that that's what it should be about. So props to her. We're going to go ahead and use this now. So this is the difference. So this is with and without. I definitely think think it is volumizing and lengthening. Um... Is it the best mascara I've tried? No, but I think for the bottom lashes, this is a great mascara. My bottom lashes literally look like false lashes right now and they rarely do. So I think I'll mainly use this for like my bottom lashes, but I really don't mind it as a mascara. I mean, it's nothing groundbreaking, but it's definitely a good product to have, especially if you're into like lower lash line mascara. Like, I just think it does so much more to my lower lash line than the top, which is fine because I needed something to do that. Definitely does like volumize and lift my lashes, which I like, um, especially with this look. It's like the perfect mascara for it. It's nothing too dramatic, but it's also not too subtle. So that's a, that's a win. I normally really like mascaras. I love to find a new mascara, so. I would rate this like a seven and a half to eight out of 10. I'd rate the liquid eyeliner pen 10 out of 10. I'd rate the coal eyeliner like an eight out of 10. And I'd rate the um, liquid eyeshadow like a nine out of 10 because literally it stayed on like crazy. So that's good. And I rate the eyeshadow so far like a nine out of 10. I really, really like this palette. Let's move on to the face. So I'm gonna be using their Interstellar Highlighter in shade Miss Mercury. I feel like this is like that one product that everybody has to have. Everybody's been talking about it. It's nice and weighted, that same packaging. And it looks like so pretty. Oh my gosh. Here, I'm gonna do a live swatch. Pretty. Look how radiant it is. Okay. I'm excited. I don't want to talk about it anymore. So we're just going to get right into it. I'm going to use this e.l.f. blush brush. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I don't have any highlighter on today either. So I'm nervous. Oh my gosh. Look how pretty that is. Look. Wow. That is a gorgeous highlight. I can't imagine when it's wet, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take some of my Peach and Lily Gloss Skin Veil. Yeah, that's freaking insane. I went overboard, but that is an insane highlighter. 10 out of 10. That is so pretty. I probably would pick up another shade. Well, I honestly don't mind it, actually. Look at that. That's so pretty. That's such a pretty shade. Well, I'm pleasantly surprised, Miss Grande. I'm pleasantly surprised. I really like that. So far, I think my favorite items are the eyeshadow palette, the liquid eyeliner, and yeah, I think the eyeshadow palette and the liquid liner so far are my favorites. Okay, so last is lips. So I have the Drive-In Movie um, liquid regular lipstick. I have the most important 
plumping gloss and the On Your Colleague plumping gloss in VCR. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take out the lipstick. <gasps> These lipsticks are thick. Like, look at that. These are thick. So pretty, nicely weighted. Oh, these are thick. Do you see how matte this looks? That is gorgeous. I have to apply this like right now. I have to. I don't know if this is gonna be a pretty shade on me, but I have to apply this like right now. Oh, and it smells so good. <laughs> ah! Oh, these are so nice and creamy. Wow. Wow. So nice, so creamy, 10 out of 10. This is a great product and it smells so good. Oh, and it clips on, look. Period. That's a really good lipstick, wow. That is a very, very good lipstick, cause wow. And this shade goes so well with the eyeshadow palette with any look that you wanna do, this shade goes really well. Okay, so next I'm gonna do the On Your Collar uh, lip gloss, lip plumping gloss in the shade BCR. So this should be cute. This is what it looks like. I don't know why it's so small. When I ordered it, I thought that I was gonna be getting a tube like this, okay? But I got this. Now, is it cute for traveling? Yeah, sure, like you could put it in your purse. Like, It's nice that it's very like compact, but at the same time, like I really expected a full size, like this is a mini. Um, oh. oh, well it doesn't have a, okay, well I, okay. I, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that the applicator was like this. So I guess that makes sense as to why it is the way it is, but I don't know. I, I don't know, I have mixed feelings, but we're gonna try it. Glosses on, pretty color. This and the lipstick are amazing. Yeah, no, I don't feel a plump. Um, is it cute lip gloss to have? Yes. Is it plumping? No. I barely feel a plump. Am I mad about it? No. I feel it a little bit like on the inner portions of my lips, but that's it. I guess that's what I would want to be plumped, but it's coming in more and more as I'm talking. It's in my mouth, so it's a little uncomfortable, <laughs> but um, that's my fault. Okay, so last but not least, we have their... Plumping gloss. It's tiny. For like 17 bucks. Ah. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Hold on, hold on. I wasn't finished applying you, girl. You don't gotta work yet. Uh-huh. Okay. This one is definitely way more plumping than the other gloss but it's bearable is it me today i don't know i didn't put any plumping gloss on today so i don't know but it's very bearable so i don't mind it but it makes my lips look super glossy and it's non-sticky so i love that so let's go ahead and get into our final thoughts let's talk about some of my favorites so number one would be the eyeliner pen i mean this is an amazing product that i'm probably going to put in my everyday bag because this product is spectacular i mean it helped create such a sharp wing like crazy like this is something that i'll probably use every single day and uh, this this is definitely a 10 out of 10 for me I also loved the eyeshadow palette. This is such a great eyeshadow palette for like 24 bucks. Um, yeah, it can be a little bit pricey, but to wear this every single day and to have the pigment that it does and the payoff, I don't think it's a bad price. Um, especially if you want something for every day that's gonna give you high pigment, but you can also take it with you everywhere if you need to, or you can touch up with it because it has a mirror in it. I think it's very reasonably priced for this eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna go into the lipstick. So I really love this. I definitely wanna get more shades because this was super pretty. 
and super nice to put on the lips i actually don't mind the color i'm just not used to those type of colors but this was super pretty so this is definitely like a nine out of ten i really really like this one i didn't mind the coal eyeliner so i'll give it like an eight out of ten it's pretty it didn't do anything crazy today um, but I think, you know, once I start with like, a fresh face, I think maybe that could have something to do with it. Even though I took off my mascara, but I don't know. So, but I like this. So I'll definitely use it. I'm a sucker for white and cream eyeliner. So this is definitely a good product. Um, as for the mascara, I don't mind it. I just think I would prefer, prefer to use it on the lower lashes. I'll probably give it like a 7.5 or 8 out of 10. Um, it definitely did what it needed to do on my top uh, lashes, but... This is definitely such a great bottom lash mascara. If you guys have it, I would definitely try it that way because it made my bottom lashes look absolutely stunning. So I'll definitely be keeping this to use on my bottom lashes because I think this is a good product for that and probably the best one that I found so far to use for them. As for the liquid eyeshadow, I mean, I didn't use it, but it stayed on very nicely. So I'll give this like an eight out of 10. I definitely wish I would have gotten other shades because I don't really know what to do with the midnight blue. I just knew it was super pretty. So I'm going to definitely find a way to utilize this and show you guys that because that's the beauty of makeup. But that's why I wanted to get it. But it's super pretty, super pigmented. And when I tried it on my lids the first time I tried trying this, uh, filming this video, it doesn't feel glittery i know sometimes liquid shadows can feel too grainy or glittery this does not feel like that at all it feels like you're applying like a nice matte cream shadow but then you're pleasantly surprised by some really pretty sparkles and like gold reflex under the blues i really like this one this one was good this highlighter definitely 10 out of 10 i mean can't you see mama is glowing love this product definitely probably gonna be an everyday staple i just love the weight of these products and i love the packaging i think it's so pretty collar no not on your collar yeah on your collar lip plumping gloss vcr super small packaging um <laughs> super small super super tiny super cute though definitely great to have in your bag all the time but like over 10 bucks i don't see why lastly the lip plumping gloss same thing super cute uh love it on my lips it didn't like completely burn my lips to where it was uncomfortable so i really appreciate that because like i don't want to be uncomfortable i'm trying to be pretty i'm trying to be beautiful in my eyes like you don't need to burn my lips off but this was really good um but over ten dollars i don't get it um I love Ariana, but like the ColourPop So So Juicy Lip Plumping Glosses, much bigger components and a little bit better of like a plumping uh, gloss, seven bucks. And then this one is like, what, 15 to $17? I don't understand. Um, you literally took plastic packaging and then like slapped Ariana Beauty and now it's like $17, which if you are okay with that fine do i think it's the most groundbreaking lip plumper to spend that money on no that's like me buying Too Faced lip injection like yes that's worth it that's gonna burn my lips off but my lips will be nice and plump but that like it has a slight burn but i'm not like oh my god like so i don't think i'd spend that much money but overall besides the little critiques that i have I like the line. I'm super happy for Ariana and I'm happy to support. I definitely think that I'll be getting more of the um, Midnight Shadows liquid eyeshadows. I think I'm going to get some of the matte ones too so I can kind of do looks like this with just a like matte cream shadow because I think that'd be cute. I definitely want to try another shade in the highlighter. I love the eyeliner pen. I think that's my favorite find of like discovering this makeup brand and i'm excited to see what other lines or launches she comes out with but i definitely don't think besides the lipstick the cute little astronaut lipstick i don't think that the lipstick prices are worth what they're priced at and i'm just being honest because why the hell would i spend another like 15 to 17 dollars on something that's this big I don't understand. I probably won't, but I'll buy other things. That's for damn sure. So I can't wait until she comes out with lip liners because I'm going to buy all of them. All of them. All of them.
But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!